Hello ladies and gentlemen, today I'll be building my PC. Uh, never built a PC a day in my life. Uh, to be the first try, you know, it's the first for everything, so I wanted to get something different to try. I'm a gamer, so I've uh, been gaming since a little kid, whatever, whatever. Right now, I currently own a, a Xbox One X, running it on at 120 hertz on my 144 hertz BenQ monitor. Uh, all my stuff actually just got here. I'm recording off my phone, so excuse the quality. Um, but let me see if I can flip the screen around and show you guys what I got. Okay, so what I have today, like I said, once again, I'm using my phone. Um, I have a Piva. I have a Piva 700 watt uh, power supply. No, you can't see it because it's a big old label. Uh, but it's a RGB uh, 700 watt battery power supply PSU from Piva. Not many reviews on it, so I really can't tell you anything about it. Um, for the CPU, I chose a Ryzen 5 3600. Let's see, 3600 AMD. Reason why I went with an AMD build is because I have a um, I have a FreeSync monitor, um, and AMD uh, offers FreeSync compatibility by uh, what is it? Um, hey, uh, HDMI. So for storage for at the moment, I have the Western Digital uh, WD Blue SN 550 NVMe SSD uh, runs at 2,400 megabytes per second. Pretty good reviews on these. So see how it goes. Um, for the RAM, I chose 3,000 megahertz of a XPG1. Um, 3,000 megahertz, I mean, it'll do for now. I'm going to upgrade it eventually. But like I said, I never built a computer, so this is all just... Hopefully, I don't blow my house up. Um, for my graphics card, I went with the Radeon XFX Thick Pro 2. Thick Pro 2. 5600. It's capable of pushing uh, 1440p. Um, that's what I'm aiming for because my monitor is 1440p uh, IPS screen display. Um, really good monitor. I, I can recommend that. BenQ, uh, that's awesome. That newest um, monitor is freaking awesome. And for the motherboard, eventually I'm going to upgrade this. But just to get me started in the PC world, I went with a Prime B450 MA. So, we'll be building this thing up in just a moment. Okay, so now we have the motherboard out of the um, static uh, wrapping that it comes in. We're gonna, um, we're going to lay this board. One second. We're going to lay this board here as so. Here's a look at the board. This is a B450, um, B450 MA board. This is what I'll be working with today. Uh, using my front camera. So, right now I'm just going over um, where my parts will go because I'm not an electrician. <laughs> so, this is all going to be a different experience for me. Um, RGB headers, okay. And then we got the CPU fan, okay. So we know that one goes there, our RAM goes there. Um, 24 pin slot goes here, our graphics card goes here, our MVM goes here. So let's get this build on. Hope you guys. Enjoy the video. I mean, it's not the best video out there, but um, this is going to be different for me. I'm going to post it on my channel. Um, I do stream on Mixer 
at uh, Redline Mixer, M-I-X-R, on my Xbox. Um, so, hopefully you guys will stop past and stay tuned for the build. I'm going to go ahead and do this because, like I said, I'm using my uh, front camera, so it's kind of difficult for me to move around, and I can't flip my screen around. So, I'm going to um, go ahead and put, I'm going to put the CPU in. I'm going to, uh, let me see, I'm going to put the CPU in. I'm going to undo these uh, brackets right here for my CPU uh, cooler. And I'll be back in a second. So instead of me stopping what I was doing, um, I'll just try to record like this. Kind of need my, trying to take my time. So it might be a long video. It might not be a long video. But I'm making a video for you all. So what we want to do, we want to take our knife, cut the box open gently. You don't want to ruin anything, even though it's just a little, <laughs> a big box for a little object. We'll sit that back there for now. Open the box. Excuse the hair, just woke up. Alrighty, all of our components for our CPU. But what we're, we're not going to use, we're going to just put back in the box to have on a uh, safe side. Then you see this is the Ryzen 3600 chip. I know it's kind of probably blurry. But you get the idea. Alrighty, what we want to do is we want to lift this, we want to lift this up, boop, just like so, slide it back. Now this CPU has gold pins on the back, right? You don't want to touch those because you don't want to risk bending those when you put it in your um, computer. So we're not going to touch that. But there's a gold, there's a gold triangle on the CPU. Let's see if I can get this out. I have big hands. There's a little weight to it. So there's a gold arrow. Let me see if I can show you guys this. There's a gold arrow right there and there's an arrow on the motherboard so what we want to do is we want to put this gold side right here where this arrow is and we just want to drop it gently in there no force you want to take the stick that's pointing up right here and you just want to gently pull it down you don't want to put any force on on it because it's you don't want to put any force on it because you don't want to bend the pins then you have a whole different uh situation so now our uh, cpu is in as you can see our cpu is in it's in there snug it's not going anywhere it latched in fine so now i'm going to install my ram put this back in this box this is my cpu cooler my amd this is factory cpu cooler then this came out of my motherboard box. So we're gonna sit this back in the box real quick. Let me see, where's the front? Alrighty, over here. And boom. Alrighty, just the CPU, don't need that. Don't forget when you take out your motherboard, you need this IO shield. This is for uh, where the shield where all your components uh, will plug in at. Don't forget to put that to the side. You don't want to lose that. We have big problems. Alrighty, on to the RAM. Sorry about the video. If it's blurry or you guys don't like it because I'm doing it on my cell phone. But I mean, it's a build video. So I mean, don't have to be the best kind of you know, footage. As long as you guys can see and hear me, fine. I'm fine with that. If you guys want to comment? Uh, like, share, even subscribe. I do post on this channel. Uh, once this is fully built and up and running properly, I will be posting a lot more on YouTube for the future. Okay, so now we got our RAM out. We have to look at the slots. So we have we have four slots in our RAM. 
we have four slots of RAM, four, four little slots for our RAM. We're going to install the RAM in these first and uh, second and fourth slot. Two and four. We have to line up, make sure that when we put it in, we have to make sure when we put put it in that um, it lines up because there's a notch. There's a notch where uh, where it goes in, and if it's in wrong, it will not it will not sit in properly. So as I can see. I have to open this side up. But why is this side harder to open than that side? That is because this side does not come down. Okay, so what we do is we get our RAM. My hair is in my way. We get our RAM gently, slide it in the notches, going like so. And we want to push down. RAM is in. So now we want to take the other RAM and we want to do the same thing. We want to put the RAM in, line it up properly, make sure it goes in the slots. Okay. And you want to gently push down again. And we have our RAM installed. Okay. Our RAM is installed. Everything so far is going going pretty good. No complaints yet. I haven't froze. We're still rolling. All right, now we want to get my screwdriver. Heavy duty screwdrivers. We need those. We don't need much, but we need a screwdriver. I'm going to grab this and I'm going to grab a screwdriver. We're going to get this thing right here, this screw right here. Pretty sure it's this screw right here that we're going to be using. Pretty sure. Let's go ahead and get the thing. Make sure that it fits in the socket. We don't want to strip anything. So that's about right right there. So we can put this back right here for now. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to install. I mean uninstall the um, the uh, cooler bracket. The screw right here make sure you don't lose them might need it for later your screws you don't want to you don't want to lose and you kind of want to remember um where you put those screws so those that bracket is off now we unscrew this bracket right here last screw so we move on to mounting our CPU cooler okay so now that we have the brackets uh, brackets to the CPU cooler uh, off we can go ahead and grab our CPU cooler gently take it out the box it's packaged nice does already come pre-applied uh, thermal paste so uh, try not to touch that all right so nothing else is in the box so we're, we can just sit this to the side so now what we have to do is we have to line up our CPU cooler line it up and place it down so we lined up right there and we need to get lined up right there. Okay, we are lined up. We are going to screw in at a star pattern. We 
we don't want to overdo it so get it down in a little bit go around all four corners a couple times make sure that it's at least getting the right tension that it needs and this screw right here does not seem to be lined up so let's go ahead and unscrew this a little bit and unscrew this one a little bit this one's in perfectly fine but this one <laughs> I have to make sure it's in there alright now we're good that one's in so we'll screw this one in over here screw this one in some more all right that's pretty snug right there so we, we don't have to worry about that side anymore that's pretty snug right there and you don't want to put it on too tight just in case for future reference you have to unscrew it and you don't want to strip your screws up so now we need this one to go in side is a little rougher than this side so get that one down there get over here a little bit more and I think this screw hole might be broke but we are in place kind of sort of why isn't this one going down I'm kind of confused on that one CPU fan, four pins. We'll go ahead and plug that up and get that up of the way. So this pin will go like this. Right. Let's see. We have four, four. So this will go over here. Correct. So that's in there. Oh. Okay, so that's in there. So what we can do is we can kind of, kind of, uh, we're going to zip tie this once it's all done. Make sure that we have good management. I'm going to take this board. I'm going to sit it to the side for a second so that I can, um, Put the motherboard screws and bracket back in the box, along with that power supply cable. It feels like I'm missing something. Like I'm missing some screws. Let's screw that down. We're about to find out. Go ahead, put this back down. We're gonna sit this back down like so. We're gonna take our SSD, put it in right there. Grab our trusty knife right here. Careful so you don't cut your fingers off. Our NVMD. Okay. So we are going to grab this. That right there. We are going to take our SSD and gently grab the hardware by the sides. There's a notch right here for uh, you to. Plug in your, your SSD. There's a notch right here. That little notch right there. 
It'll line up with the knots on your motherboard. And then you just put it in, push it gently down, and seat it. Why isn't there a stand? I thought there was a standoff for this. Let me see. Okay, so where will we put the standoff? One more screws here. And those are little screws and this and the M goes here. Goes here. There should be a screw right here, but I don't have the screw, so we're going to sit you right here for a second and go in our motherboard box. Let's see if that box is in there, because I highly doubt that we use that one. these screws because normally on the videos that I've seen they come with little screws um, the motherboards come with little little screw a little packets of screw just for that uh, specific item and I really do not see that item in here so I'm going to take out those three screws four screws and here it is right here boom it's a little teeny screw bolt right here i don't know how clear you guys can see that okay we're going to go ahead and put our stuff back in the box we're going to figure out which slide we need we're going to figure out which slide we need for um our pen. So let's get our motherboard. Let's grab our motherboard. Put her back down like so. Be gentle. I'm gonna scratch her. Okay. It's not a big card, so I don't think the spat is that intense. So I believe it goes right there. Okay. So let's go ahead and rip this open up like so. So what we want to do is we want to put in, we want to put in this bigger screw. Try not to lose these because they are small. They are really, really small. Okay. Okay, we're going to screw this little thingy, this little guy in right here. It's really, really, really tiny. We're going to screw this thing in. Let's go ahead and take our SSD back out. Okay. Put it there like so. Damn. See, I messed up. All right. I got to figure out which slide it was again. Okay. So it's this one. Okay. So it's the third one. So what we want to do is we want to put that right in there. And we want to try to start screwing. So now we have that in. Now we have that installed. All we should have to do now is plug our SSD like so. Push down. And I don't know why it's not locking in place. I don't know. Am I doing it? Oh, there we go. Okay. So we're going to take our screwdriver, which is more than enough space for it. And we are going to push down on it, and we are going to screw away. Maybe I should use a little screwdriver. Okay, take my little teeny, 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 teeny screwdriver, like so. I'm going to push down. Let me put this right here real quick. I'm going to push down on this 
line it up like so. I'm gonna get this little teeny screw right here while I'm holding it down in place. I'm gonna find a notch and I'm gonna start screwing. Okay, so now we are complete with our motherboard so far. Here's a look at what we got so far. So we have our CPU cooler on. We have it plugged in already. We have our RAM right here. We have our SSD. So now, what do we have left? Not much. We're going to do a little bit of cleaning up, get some of this stuff off of my table, and we'll be back. This isn't a fast-forwarding video, but I hope you get the idea. You know, once you finish clean, uh, putting everything together, I mean, it's common sense. You know, you want to straighten up your area. You don't want to be trying to work around and... Um, crowded areas with stuff that you're not using. I'm going to put this stuff over here. I'm going to pile all this stuff in one box for the moment. All right, maybe two boxes. All right, can do that like so. A few box. All righty, now for the big boy. We must take out our box. Haven't touched it, just came in not too long ago. Uh, don't judge me, not too much. It's not that many reviews out here of this case. It's a BF1 Dark Flash, uh, mid tower ATX case. And it was roughly around 60 bucks. It has uh, two 200 meter millimeter RGB uh, front panel fans. Um, I still have to get a, a back fan, so that will be in the, in the future. Uh, we're going to take this, we're going to flip it upside down. We're going to flip this upside down, get away from our motherboard. We're gonna take this like so. Go so out. Make sure our motherboard is clear, and we are clear. And we're just gonna take the little holes that you know a carrying box will come with, and just gently slide up. Make sure you don't drop your case. Or you'll be waiting for UPS. Some more. Okay. Now that we have that out the way, we can. We can take our wrap off. Take this wrap off. Put that back in the box. Take this wrap right here. Put it back in the box. I'm not using that wrap. It's a pretty good wrap as well. Thought I was gonna get a static shot there, so kind of got fooled. So we do have a dust filter on here. That's a good thing. And right now we're on the front. So we're going to lift this thing up real quick. Alrighty. Oh, that thing looking sweet, boy. That thing looking sweet. Oh, shit. It ain't even built it. It's looking sweet. You see? So there is uh, two uh, 200 millimeter uh, RGB fans. So uh, once again, this is a BF1 dark flash case. Uh, it does have a tempered glass panel, as you can see. Um, it has up top uh, uh, USB, USB, USB 3.0, USB 3.0. There's a standoff in there. I don't know why. USB 3.0, I have no idea. You have an audio, you have a microphone, you have your RGB lights, and you have a power supply. Temper glass uh, through the back. There's a fan that I'm going to put here. 
This right here is where my IO shield will go. So my IO shield, this little piece right here that I told you, don't forget. This IO shield is going to go right here. And once the motherboard is in, then we'll figure out which one of these knockouts we have to take out so we can put our motherboard in. So thank you all for sticking around if you're still around. I'm trying. Don't judge me. Alrighty, what we're going to do is we're going to unscrew these screws to take our tempered glass off. We're going to start with the top because we don't want to, we don't want to start with the bottom and then freaking the glass just pops off from the bottom. That would be a disaster. So we're going to start at the bottom. We're not going to rip the, we're not going to rip the, um, the plastic off just yet. We're going to wait till it's fully put together. Then we'll 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 end up taking the tempered glass off. Okay. So taking off the last screw, I want to hold a case because I don't want the I don't want the glass to fall. So we have our last screw right here. Boom. Take our trusty screwdriver. Boom. Set that over here. Now what we want to do is grab our tempered glass and put this to the side. This will go right back in the box like so. Just so we won't scratch it, bend it, or break it. Truck school. Alrighty, let me give you guys a clear view on the inside of this box. <clears throat> Never worked in a box before, so it's all new to me. Let me I don't want a little bit of light. Wrong light. Alrighty. Now it gets interesting. Alrighty, let's go ahead and lay the board on the side so I can give you guys a look inside of the box. We're not gonna take the front panel off just yet. Probably won't have to. Without that glass, this thing is super duper light. Okay, so as I look in the box, I see I have six standoffs. I see I have six standoffs. Um, I wish I can turn it around so you guys can see. But I have six standoffs. You see one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now, if I look on my board, I have to find where these standoffs go. So we have one, two. This one can go right there. Let's just sit the motherboard in real quick so we can get a better idea of what slots we need because at the moment from just looking at it from this angle, I have no idea which standoffs we need. So we need that one. We need this one. We need that one. Oh, okay. So Did I get the wrong box for my build? I hope I didn't. So we're gonna grab the CPU cooler because it's a little bit lighter. So we have a standoff there. We have a standoff there. We have a standoff there. We need one right there. We need one right there. Okay, so this is the right box. Okay, cool. So all I have to do, so, um, I thought I bought the wrong box. Uh, I almost panicked for a second because uh, where my uh, holes sit, there wasn't any standoffs and kind of threw me for a loop for a second. So that's where your IO shield will go. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and install this IO shield, get this thing out of the way. Um, yeah. And sit you guys right here. All right, we're gonna go ahead and take our motherboard out. We're gonna sit our motherboard right here. Okay, so we have two standoffs right there. Okay, so another thing that I, I, I want to try to do is um, I want to line this thing up with this so I know how to put it in because I'm 
honestly not sure how they want this thing to go in. So the way it looks, it looks like it will go in like so. So, yes. So this is the way. Okay, so our, our, our IO shield goes in this way. Yes. Okay, so our IO shield goes in this way. Circle, three, three, three. Okay. So you want to get it and you want to push it in by the corners until you hear it snap in, snap in place. There go one side. There go two sides. And our IO shield is in place. Now our IO shield is in place. And this is how it looks when your IO shield is in. Just in case you want to take a little screenshot of how it goes in. That is how the IO shield goes in. Now what we want to do is we want to get these screws out of this box. Hopefully these are the standoff screws. I'm not 100% sure. We're about to find out. We all are about to find out. <laughs> Hopefully they are. This is actually pretty fun. It's, it's an experiment. Something I always wanted to do. Just never had the balls really like to just get up and just say fuck it, you know. Just build a gaming PC, you know. Never did that. Alrighty, so what I want to do now is I want to grab my... No. Okay, I have to charge you guys up, so... Let's see. Let's get my cord is long enough. Should be just long enough. I got you guys plugged in now. And we're gonna try to sit you. We'll sit you guys right here if this can work. If this will work, I'm hoping it'll work because I want you guys to have this experience with me. I don't want to be alone. And let's put this right here so we can anchor. turn my camera a little bit more this way because I don't really want to turn. So let me see if I put it this way. Put this and put this right here. Put this stay. Put it next. Boom! I did it. Alrighty. We're going to grab our um, motherboard again. Gently pick it up. See which standouts we need. So that goes there. Put it into where, see this one bent right here, so we're definitely going to bend you up. That one bent, so I don't want no more of them to bend. 